don't care. I swear to God. Okay, let's not go with the new little uh, Minecraft security exploit uh, called Dirty Pipe. Now, the only reason why I'm like covering this is it kind of relates to my game. Like, my game uses the same library. I'll explain a little bit later. Uh, my game could pr not really do that, because to my knowledge, because there's only. You only get, like, a PHP file. You only send your key through a PHP so when it gets it back. I don't think you can make it one code, because uh, code, it's like an Ajax request, if I recall. Or not. I don't remember, but uh, it does something where it gets sent down, go back. and uh, So I, I don't think my game could do it, but let's actually get into this whole exploit. So it's called the Bleeding Pipe Exploit, and uh, it can affect servers or play of home computers and to what essentially happens is uh there's something called an object input scheme which uh if we actually see over there um oh this uh object uh and essentially if I recall what happens is you see what we do is we use something called the serializable library a lot of the time. Actually I think this is serializable I think. Oh I oh I actually don't think it does. I don't know if it uses it. Well, we're basically just pitting this as an object. Like, we're, uh, we're turning this into, um, co um, I don't exactly know what's, I think code, yeah, co I think that, I think the right, right term would be code. We're essentially turn this into a file, you know, into this, we basically scramble it up a little bit, we put it into here, um, and it's a lot harder to read. So, like, for example, let's say I wanted to, like, exploit, uh, pack my save file. If I had as a simple TXT using Buffer Reader, I could just change all the values here. However, with this, um, let's say, let's, I, I don't know if I actually have a, specifically a file here. I have a file somewhere. But, uh... Uh-huh, I don't know what... I said, I know I, I have, uh, okay, yeah, this is it, yeah, this is it. So, if we, uh, open it with, like, a, uh, adding our favorite little TXT, uh, little file there. Uh, if we can find one. I think, like, notepad, I think, any. Ah, sin. I actually don't know what that would, the, uh, one would be, uh, somewhere. Oh, crap. Uh, why do I just have Bloomer? No, it isn't like this. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to open up the, uh, one that kind of works, because, uh, that you can't really edit them, and you'll, you'll see it like a second when I actually find a uh, little notepad of it, but uh, huh. Hmm. Strange. Uh. Alright. Crap? Oh. Oh. Well, there it is. I'm stupid. Uh, okay, so. We go here, we launch a little, uh, that save file. And essentially, we see that. We see it's. I think it's called serializable. I'm pretty sure what I'm using is specifically called serializable at should work. But we see this is all a bunch of like crap. I it's pretty difficult to, you know, make. You could. Be there probably are ways of decoding this, but it's a lot more difficult. It's all a bunch of nonsense. But essentially, what's happening is. Uh, if we go back to the little article, essentially, what's happening is a hacker feeds the data into the server with like something. Uh, with like some malicious code, which this deserializes it, it turns this back into what the game actually likes. Um, I'm actually Java, I should say, or whatever you're using, likes, and uh, it could run malicious code. And uh, to my knowledge, it can also do, according to the article, it can also do, um, uh, yeah, it turns from a binary to an object galaxy. I'm correct, I, I'm kind of correct, it turns into like random binary data set. Uh, into code that gets executed on the server side. Similarly, a pay, yeah, P a server could also feed binary back into the client, which, um, let's see here. So let's go ahead and browse. Maybe we can show you. Uh, but uh, my thing is, I honestly don't know how it works. Like, this is why you probably shouldn't have servers in your mods. Like, I don't know if it's like if it if it's uh an issue with the mad server or Minecraft itself. I, I think it has to be a mad, because I'd assume Microsoft servers would be pretty secure, not like, do a lot of symptoms that you could like. But, essentially, it's not about, be these mads do work. I've actually, I don't really play mad in Minecraft mads, um. Uh, but, yeah. Uh. 
all of this shit. Uh, oh, I guess it affects some old versions of Minecraft, but, uh, yeah, um, which kind of makes me question how, um, like, I don't know how it does actually do it, uh, like, like, we see it gets actually sent to the data, but I don't know how you would, like, I can see it, but, like, I don't know about, like, I do not know mind view servers, like, I know the Minecraft loading servers, but, I wouldn't imagine it would work, but I'll stop talking about that so we don't get in tangent. Um, but yeah, um, I essentially can do um. Oh, me? Oh no. Yeah, my log for J essentially just does better logging for like shit. I don't use it, but I could if I wanted to. Like, if I had, like, a really bad air, maybe I'd actually try it. Uh. Oh! It's Minecraft servers. I'm stupid. Uh. Don't know why the hell I, I, I realized. Oh, wait a minute. Minecraft has servers. <laughs> Duh. I, I don't know why it took me this long to freaking realize. Oh, wait a minute. That's how you can get the freaking Uh, well. <laughs> You can do like scanners and also a pipe black, which is supposedly, you know, doing this. Look this up. See, I'll, I'll, um, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little city video about the Minecraft bleeding pipe exploit. Uh, bye. Java for life. Not gonna lie. Keep it chat.